Pimples are a common skin condition characterized by the presence of inflamed or infected oil glands and hair follicles. They are a form of acne and can manifest as small, raised bumps on the skin. Pimples can occur anywhere on the body but are most commonly associated with the face, neck, chest, and back. Here's a brief overview of the types of pimples and their characteristics. Whiteheads, closed comedones that appear as small, white or flesh-colored bumps. They occur when a hair follicle is clogged with oil and dead skin cells, but the pore remains closed. Blackheads, open comedones that have a dark appearance due to oxidation of the trapped sebum and skin cells. Despite the dark color, blackheads are not caused by dirt. Papules, small, red, raised bumps that result from inflammation and infection around the hair follicles. They may be tender to the touch. Pustules, similar to papules but contain pus at the center, giving them a white or yellowish appearance. Pustules are often red at the base. Nodules, larger, solid, painful lumps beneath the surface of the skin. Nodules are deeper and more severe than pustules and papules. Cysts, deep, painful, pus-filled lumps that can cause scarring. Cysts are the most severe form of acne lesion. Pimples, also known as acne, primarily result from a combination of factors, including Excess oil production, the skin contains sebaceous glands that produce an oily substance called sebum. When there is an overproduction of sebum, it can mix with dead skin cells and clog hair follicles, leading to the formation of a plug or cum dun. Bacterial growth the clogged hair follicles create an environment where bacteria, particularly Propionibacterium acnes, P. acnes, can thrive. The bacteria contribute to inflammation and the formation of red, swollen pimples. Dead skin cells, skin cells continuously shed and renew themselves. If these dead skin cells do not shed properly and accumulate on the skin surface, they can mix with sebum and contribute to the clogging of pores. Hormonal changes, hormonal fluctuations, particularly an increase in androgens, male hormones that both males and females produce, can stimulate the sebaceous glands to produce more sebum. This is why acne is common during puberty, menstruation, pregnancy, and in conditions like polycystic ovary syndrome, PCOS. Genetics, there is a genetic component to acne. If your parents or siblings had acne, you may be more prone to developing it as well. Inflammation, when the hair follicles are clogged and bacteria multiply, the body's immune system responds by sending white blood cells to the affected area. This immune response leads to inflammation, which can manifest as red, swollen pimples. Environmental factors, exposure to certain environmental factors, such as pollution or high humidity, can contribute to skin issues. Diet, while the link between diet and acne is complex and varies among individuals, some people may find that certain foods, such as dairy or high glycemic index foods, can influence acne.